Welcome back to JK Fitness and Nutrition and welcome to today's workout. Upper body high intensity circuit training dumbbell and body weight workout. We're going to tone and target every muscle group in our upper body using both a combination of dumbbells and our own body weight. Everything is timed interval so it's up to you to get as, in as many reps and rounds as that you can within that given work period. All right, here's a breakdown of today's workout. Quite simple, but it's going to be very effective and we're going to feel good at the end of it. I have five separate circuits. Each circuit is focused on an upper body muscle group. Within each circuit, I have four separate exercises. Two will be weighted, two will be body weight. So all we're going to do is cycle through the weighted movements twice through, add in body weight once, go back to the weighted, add in body weight twice. All right, so it's an equal balance of both weighted movements and body weight movements. So we're going to get our heart rates elevated, working on that cardio and muscular endurance, and we're going to build nice, lean, strong muscles in our upper body. As well, we'll be targeting our core and getting a lot of full body movement in as well when we're doing those body weight exercises. All right, so make sure you're stretched, warmed up, ready to go. Have variation of dumbbells available. We're doing chest press, chest flies. We're going to hit the back. We're going to do some rows around the world, bent over flies. For our shoulders, we have overhead press, lateral raise, front raise, and we're going to do some biceps and some triceps as well. All right. So like I said, make sure you're stretched, warmed up, ready to transition from our weighted to body weight, back to weighted, and ending again with body weight for each circuit. All right. So everything is 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. All right. Let's make it a good one. First one, we're going to be on the ground. We're going to start with chest press. I love to throw in my core with that as well. So it's up to you if you want to as well. If not, you can just focus on the chest press movement. So either like this, keeping your legs up or along with me, we'll do some leg raise. All right. So chest press first exercise, we're going to hit up the chest and we're going to do some chest flies following. All right, let's make it a good one. Starting in 10 seconds, chest press. For 20, followed by chest fly, two rounds. All right, here we go. So you just want to graze the ground with your arms. And if you're doing core with me, lower your legs to the ground as close as you can. All right, you want to extend just over midline of your chest. Make sure you're breathing out on the exertion phase. All right, so when you hear that beep, three seconds, we're going to do some chest flies. All right, so same thing, we're going to open up here squeezing our chest muscles together. All right, here we go. Three seconds, two, one. So chest flies for 20. One more round of both of these exercises, followed by one round of body weight, last round of weighted, then we'll do two rounds of body weight. All right, here we go. Excellent, make sure we're breathing. That's it. Three more seconds, two, one. Staying here, one more round before body weight. Back to chest press. I'm going to do leg raise again. All right, here we go. Lift and lower. Excellent, make sure you're breathing. Great job. So just grazing, then extending through. All right, following chest press, we have our chest fly. Make sure you're pushing your tailbone to the ground if you're doing your leg raises with me. Excellent, all right, stay here. One more round. Then we have some body drop with pike knee taps. And then we have some um, plank hops for a body weight. I will demo. Don't you worry about that. So body drop with two pike knee taps for the first 20 seconds, plank hops for the second, one time through first, back to these two movements and body weight again. Excellent. All right, so body drop, you're gonna come all the way down on that ground, extending up, coming across for one, two, back to the ground, and push yourself up. Let's go, here we go. So body drop, all the way, arms tucked into your sides. That's it, coming across, one, two, all the way back down, pushing up. Come across for one, two. Chest feels good, doesn't it, right now, doing this movement? Oh yeah, we're hitting it. Definitely, as we push up off that ground. All right, plank hops. So it's like a side, middle side, a V formation. One, two, hopping, two feet together. All right, let's go. Plank hops for 20. One more round. Chest press and 
chest fly. Then we have two more rounds of our body weight. Then we're gonna hit up our back. Excellent, bounding, pushing through the palms of your hands. Excellent, all right, on the ground. Last time, weighted for our chest. Here we go. I'm back to leg raise, I'm gonna get my core in. Let's go, here we go. If you're not doing a leg raise with me, don't worry, I do have core exercises throughout this workout as well. So we'll hit it and we'll hit it eventually if you're not doing this with me right now. Excellent, make sure you're breathing, extend up. Great job, three more seconds, two, one, stay here. Then two rounds of those two body weight exercises. All right, here we go. Extending and up, so make sure. Same thing, just like our chest press. Our arms are just grazing the ground, squeezing. That's it, focus on the muscle group you're working. That's it, coming up just in front of your midline of your chest. Make sure you're breathing. <sighs> Exhale on the exertion. All right, three, two, one. Let's put the weights aside. We have two rounds. Body drop with those two pike knee taps and plank hops. All right, here we go. Tuck your arms in as you come down. Push it up, come across for one. Two, same thing, back down again, and up, come across for one, two, that's it, core is tight, that's it, one, two, don't, when you're in this position, come down straight and get that bum in the air when you're doing your pike knee taps. Awesome, plank hops, and one more round of both. All right, five seconds, here we go, give me that V shape as you're bounding, side, middle, side. Pushing through the palms of your hands. All right, one more round each. We'll hit up the back. We have some bent over rows, some around the world. That's it, excellent. Right to that beep, quick rest. That's it, last round of these two movements. Then we have some bent over rows and around the world. All right, here we go, body drop. Arms tucked in, up. Let's go for one, two, coming down. Excellent, pushing up. Bam, one, two, all right, great job. Don't drop that head when you're coming down into this plank position. Excellent, core is tight. Bam, that's it. Three, two, one, finish that. All right, plank hops and grab our dumbbells onto circuit two of five. Before we start that, I wanna stay in here and we're gonna do some crunches. All right, we'll do crunches for 20 seconds before we hit up the back. That's it, bounding side to side, side, middle, side. Pushing through the palms of your hands. That's it, five more seconds, please. Excellent, nice and light on your feet. Awesome, on your back, please. Shoulder blades off the ground, little crunches. All right, so my forehead going up towards that ceiling. I'm resting my hands behind my neck. I am not pulling up my head though, all right? Forehead up to that ceiling, shoulder blades off the ground. Really feel it in your core. All right, bent over fly. Circuit two in five seconds. Excellent. All right, up and at them. Bent over fly, oh, sorry, bent over rows. Legs are shoulder width apart. Coming down nice and low, driving the elbows back. All right, here we go. That's it, driving it back. We have around the world coming up. I like to go a little bit lighter for that than I can for my rows. That's it, coming down nice and low, back is flat. That's it, driving the elbows back, squeezing your shoulder blades together. Three, two, one, awesome. I'm gonna go lighter. Here we go, around the world on the outside of your thighs. Give me that semicircle up. All right, here we go. So every time we're in this position, slight bend in your knees, right? Actually, I like to start from the base up. So feet are drilled flat in the ground, slight bend in your knees, core is tight, chest is up. Excellent, five more seconds, one more round before we do some body weight movement. Three, two, one, great job. Back to rows, please. So I want you coming down nice and low, legs shoulder width apart, palms facing out. Driving those elbows back and squeezing your shoulder blades. That's it, excellent. All right, great job. So 
after our around the world. We'll do some plank up and downs and some plank jacks. Excellent, here we go, five more seconds. Drive it back, extend all the way in front, fully down, and drive the elbows back. Excellent. All right, around the world. Back to this position, legs shoulders apart. Here we go, semi-circle over your head. That's it, always slight bend in your elbows as well on this movement. Nice and controlled. All right, meet me on the ground, plank position. Do some plank up and down followed by our plank jacks for five more seconds. Great job. Nice and controlled movement. Three, two, one on the ground, plank position. I want you extending one to two, hands flat, locking the elbows. All right, before you come back down again, let's go one, two, pushing through the palms of your hands and locking, bam, back down again. Don't drop your head, core is nice and tight. All right, we really work our core when we're in this plank position. So be mindful of that. Excellent, one, two, back extending, locking those elbows. Great job. Plank jacks, make sure your arms, your shoulders stacked over your wrists. And we're just jumping, using our feet in and out like plank jacks, like jumping jacks, but in a plank position. All right, one more round. We're going to do our bent over rows. Around the world, two rounds of body weight. Excellent, here you go, pushing through the palms of your hands. So it works out to be three rounds of the weighted and three rounds of our body weight. Let's go, last time. Already made a mess of my weights. Make sure I have the same ones. All right, here we go, drive the elbows back. That's it, nice and low. Great job. So like I said, I'm fully extending in front, driving the elbows back to that full range of motion, right? That's it, less than 10. Here we go. Around the world, last time. That's it. Nice and low. Back is flat. Three, two, one. Around the world. Legs shoulders apart. Draw your feet flat into that ground. Palms facing out. Here we go. All right. Followed by two more rounds of our body weight. We'll throw in some Russian twists hit up circuit number three. Circuit number three is shoulders. We're gonna start with overhead press. Five more seconds, here we go. Three more, two, one. Awesome, on the ground. Plank up and down, plank jacks, twice through. Here we go. All right, straight line, same thing, stacking shoulders over your wrists. Extend up, one, two. Hands are flat on that ground, pushing up and locking. That's it, one, two. Extend, great job. Don't drop your head, right? Everything is tight. Look at that spot just ahead of you. Excellent. All right, we're here. Stay here, plank jacks, please. 20 seconds, then one more round of both. Here we go. Three, two. So same thing, plank position. Let's push through the palms of our hands. All right, I always like to say to pick up the intensity. Pick up the pace anytime we're doing these body weight movements. Here we go, in and out, one, two, one, two, that's it. Five more seconds, last time, plank up and down. That's it, great job. Stay here, last round. Plank jacks, then I want Russian twists on the ground. Here we go. I'm not sure where else we would, we would do our Russian twists, but we're gonna stay down here after our plank jacks. And we'll do some Russian twists. That's it, one, two. That's it, back down, extending, walking those elbows. Nice, strong movements, right? And up, back down. Great job. Awesome, stay here, plank jacks. I'm gonna add a dumbbell for my Russian twist. If you wanna keep it body weight, keep it body weight, no problem. Here we go. All right, back, in and out, one, two. Same thing, don't drop your head, stare at that spot ahead of you. Pushing through the palms of your hands. Core is nice and tight. That's it. Let's go, let's get those reps in, come on. Five more seconds right here. That's it. Awesome, all right, I'm gonna grab a weight. Rush and twist, feet on or off the ground. It's up to you, coming over your body. Sorry, side to side, torso coming over. One, two, all right. You need to rest your heels on the ground. 
Go ahead, rest your heels. I want you leaning back slightly. Less than 10, circuit three already. Overhead press, let's set up the shoulders. That's it, three more seconds. Two, one, awesome. Overhead press, please. All right, overhead press. Legs are shoulder width apart, slight bend in your knees. Here we go. Overhead press for 20, followed by lateral raise for 20. Twice through before our body weight. Body weight, we have some burpees. Love my burpees. And some plank shoulder taps. Extending, that's it. Five more seconds. Great job. All right, lateral raise. I'm gonna go a bit lighter as usual for this. Legs and shoulders apart, same thing. Beating up with your elbows. Beating up with your elbows. Don't use your elbows, but leading up with your elbows because you want to get your elbows up. All right, excellent. So form check, starting from the base up, drilling our feet flat into the ground. Chest, slight bend in your knees, core is tight, chest is up. All right, one more round. Overhead press before our body weight. That's it. Here we go. Same thing. Form check, right? And let's go, overhead press, 20 seconds. So my elbows, as you see, I'm dipping just below shoulder level and extending up. All right, excellent. Here we go, make sure you're breathing. 10 more seconds, that's it. Five more, you wanna be consistent in the reps that you get in each round. Three, two, one, great job. Lateral raise. Get our heart rates right back up. We're gonna do some burpees. Three, two, one, here we go. That's it, no swinging. Start from the outside of our thighs. Beating up with the elbows, coming up to shoulder height. Slight bend in your knees and slight bend in your elbows as well. All right, great job, keep going. Five more seconds, one round of burpees. One round of plank shoulder taps. Three, two, one, great job. Dumbbells slightly to the side. We're going back and forth, all workout. All right, burpees for 20. Here we go. Arms tucked in, jumping up. So placing your hands down. I want you coming down into that squat position, then placing your hands down, kicking your feet out behind you. And uh, that's why my stance is so wide, because I come down nice and low in my squat position. All right, great job. Plank, shoulder taps on the ground. Plank position, stacking your shoulders over your wrists, or just tapping. Tapping for 20 seconds. Here we go. One, two, that's it. Hands are flat on the ground, fingers are pointed forward. Don't drop your head. Core is tight, right? That's it. One more round, overhead press, followed by our lateral raise. Excellent, keep going, right to that beat. Three, two, one, that's it. Last time for our shoulders. Here we go. Well, technically no, because circuit four, we're doing a back and shoulder exercise. So a little bit more shoulders left after this. Of course, love my shoulders. Excellent, less than 10. Here we go, extending. That's it, make sure we're not swinging. It's a strict overhead press. Three, two, one. Make sure we're not using our legs, right? Keeping our feet flat. Lateral raise, same thing on the outside of our thighs. No swinging motion, strict upper body. Let's go, that's it. So maintain that soft bend in our knees, right? We don't wanna to put too much pressure on our lower backs. All right, here we go. We got two rounds coming up of our two body weight movements. Burpees and plank shoulder taps. Three more seconds, two, one, awesome. Burpees, that's it. So like I said, my legs are wide. I'm coming down that squat position, placing my hands down. All right, pushing those knees out all the time. So if you do my uh, lower body workouts with me, even full body, every time we're in that squat position, I'm always saying, make sure your knees don't fall in, pushing your knees out. All right, plank shoulder taps. Plank shoulder taps on the ground for 20, followed by one more round of burpees and one more round of plank shoulder taps. All right, here we go. That's it, one, two. Remember, form check in this position as well. Don't drop our heads. 
Stare at that spot just ahead of you. That's it, 10 more seconds. One more round of both of these. We'll do some crunches and then circuit four, just like that. Three, two, one. Awesome, last time burpees. I love burpees. Just do a full workout of burpees. All right, three seconds, two, here we go. All right, arms down, tucked in. Hands are flat on that ground. One, two, bringing your feet when you swing them under you. I want you landing feet flat. Bam, right? Five more seconds. That's it. I want one more in, three more. Two, one, great job. Plank shoulder taps, crunches. And then we have some bent over fly for our box. All right, here we go. Plank shoulder taps. One, two, that's it. Hands flat on that ground. Let's get those reps in. Come on, one, two. Give our shoulders a quick little break, not much. We can do a bit of core. And then we'll do back and shoulders. That's it, three more seconds. Great job, two, one. Awesome crunches on the ground. Legs are up. Bringing your forehead up to that ceiling. All right, here we go. Excellent. So no pulling at your neck. Just, just touching lightly on the outside or the back of your head. That's it, squeezing up. Great job, shoulder blades off the ground. All right, bent over, flies. Circuit four. That's it. Here we go. Bent over, fly. So same thing like our rows. Legs are shoulder width apart. Knee down nice and low. Leading up with the elbows. All right, here we go, leading up with the elbows. That's it. So coming down low. So you should feel these in your hamstrings as well because we're down so low. All right, front raise. You're gonna hit up the shoulders, like I said, back and shoulders for circuit four. Three more seconds, two, one. I'm gonna drop a bit in weight. Front raise, legs shoulder width apart, slight bend in your knees, coming up to shoulder height. Whew, <laughs> there you go. All right, obviously soft bend in your knees, don't swing your arms. Everything is all about your upper body right now. It's being in control of the movement. That's it, excellent. One more time before we throw in some body weight. Five more seconds. Up to shoulder height, three, two, one. I wanna get one more in. All right, again, last time. And we have some plank openers and some mountain runners. All right, here we go. That's it, in front. Leading up with the elbows, coming down nice and low. No swinging, please. Excellent. So obviously there's a bend in your elbows. I always lead, say lead up with my elbows. That's it. Three more seconds. Two more. Let's do some front raise, please. Front raise followed by some plank openers on the ground. Five seconds. Three, two, here we go. Excellent. Plank openers, mountain runners. One round, then last round of our weighted movements. Excellent. Coming up to shoulder height. Less than 10. Meet me on the ground in plank position, please. Five more. That's it. Make sure you're breathing. Three, two, one. Awesome. Plank position on the ground. All we're going to do is pivot and turn. Pivot, open up that chest and turn. All right, here we go. Pivot, opening up. Nice. That's it on the balls of your feet. Opening up. Excellent. Hands are flat on that ground. Great job. All right, let's do some mountain runners. Coming up, excellent. Great job staying here. I want you diving your knees across your body though, all right? Coming across, one, two, one, two. Here we go, heart rate's elevated. Pushing through the palms of your hands, stacking your shoulders over your wrists, driving your knees across your body, all right? Really engage your core. Don't drop that head. No bums in the air. All right, back to bent over fly in five seconds. Last time. Here we go. Awesome. Let's do it. Bent over fly, please. Stick with these ones. Legs shoulders apart, coming down nice and low. Here we go. All right, leading up. It's amazing how being that plank position really torches your shoulders. 
All right, excellent. Staying low, back is flat, legs are shoulder width apart. Excellent. Let's Here we go. Five more seconds. One more round. Front raise, please. Three, two, one. Great job. Front raise, last time. Followed by our two rounds of body weight. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Awesome. All right, two rounds, body weight. Last circuit to follow. We'll throw in some Russian twists. And then we have our biceps and triceps. I've grouped them together in the same circuit. Five more seconds, that's it. Meet me on the ground in plank position. Three, two, want to finish that, there we go. All right, plank openers, please. Stacking your shoulders over your wrists, really focus and pivot. Here we go, pivot and open, one. That's it, two, that's it. keep going. Excellent, open up your chest, nice and wide, bam, that's it. All right, mountain runners, driving your knees across. All right, let's work our obliques, driving knees across, and that when we're doing our mountain runners, please. Excellent, all right, plank position. I want you focusing on bringing your knees, opposite knee to opposite elbow. All right, here we go, driving across. Get up the pace, pick up the pace, pick up the intensity. We are so close to the end, so let's go. One, two. So I always say, it's a short part of your day, so make it count. All right, plank openers to follow. One more round of each of these. That's it, two, one. Great job. One more time. Plank openers. There we go. Three, two, plank position. Up, and let's go. Here we go. That's it, extend and open. Bam, that's a B in control. That one was a little bit quick for me. I wanted to slow it down a bit more. Pivot and extend and turn. That's it, excellent. So we have Russian twists after our mountain runners. Circuit five. We're gonna start with some bicep curls, all right? Bicep curls and overhead tricep extensions. All right, let's do our mountain runners. Here we go, driving across the body. Let's go. Hands are flat on that ground, pushing through the palms of your hands. Stare at that spot just ahead of you. Don't drop your head. No bones in the air. And let's go, here we go, one, two, one, two. Excellent, five more seconds. Great job. Engage your core, keep it nice and tight. Let's go, Russian twist. With or without, if you wanna do body weight, that's fine. Feet off the ground or on the ground, it's up to you. Here we go, come across for one, two, that's it. All right, bicep curls, tricep overhead extensions. Excellent, less than 10. Come all the way across your body, right? All the way across. That's it. Three more seconds. Two. All right, here we go. Circuit five. Bicep curls. So I like to have mine on an angle. Elbows tucked in. Extend. Here we go. I always say don't rest at that top, but pull the extend all the way down. All right, excellent. Don't rest. That's it. Less than 10. Single dumbbell, if you have a heavy enough one. If not, keep one in each hand for overhead tricep extension. Three, two, one. Have a heavy enough one. Legs are shoulder width apart, arms are tucked in, extending over your head. All right, here we go. So this would look the same if I had a dumbbell in each hand. All right, just arms are tucked in by my ears. Same stance, same movement. Just one more dumbbell to add, right? One in each hand. All right, we have one more round. Throw in some body weight. Three more seconds. Two, great job. Do some bicep curls again. Bicep curls, overhead tricep extension. Then we're gonna do some sprawl. Those will torch our triceps for sure. Some sprawls and some plank walks. All right, this is the last circuit to end it, my friends. Keep going, extend, excellent. Remember you dictate how challenging you want this workout to be by the weights that you choose, the reps that you get in. Three, two, one, excellent. Overhead tricep extensions. I always say you wanna maintain that high level of reps and intensity 
but as well you want to be challenged you want to be working for it to get that get those in you don't want it to be easy but then you don't want to get too few in you want to get that uh, right amount all right excellent on the ground oh it's going to feel good our sprawls three more seconds two one sprawls our arms are tucked into our sides as we come down driving our knees on the outside of our body all right pushing yourself up here we go all right so you want to focus on keeping your arms tucked in pushing yourself up from that ground keeping your core tight driving your knees on the outside of your body all right here we go five more seconds we're gonna do some plank walks side to side three two one awesome so one two plank walks so start here for one back again for two all right one and one here we go that's it for one one more back so anytime we're in this position right our plank our plank position those cues to remember stacking our shoulders over our wrists no bums in the air core is tight that's it last round of our weighted work here we go two rounds of uh, sorry one round of bicep curls one round of triceps we'll finish the workout two rounds of body core <laughs> body core body weight movements <laughs> there we go see I'm, I'm feeling it right now those sprawls really towards my triceps all right excellent keep going all the way down extending arms are tucked in coming up on that angle so bring your fingertip your pinky up to your bicep all right last time overhead tricep extension two rounds of body weight here we go all right legs shoulder width apart arms tucked in so let's start from the ground up drill your feet flat soft bend in your knees don't arch your back core is tight chest is up all right extending all the way up all the way up five more seconds meet me on the ground that's it three more two all right last two rounds of these two movements sprawl first followed by our plank walks here we go let's make a count let's do it coming all the way down arms tucked in let's get those reps in heart rates elevated work hard from now to the end let's go one two that's it driving your knees forward on the outside of your body excellent five more seconds pushing through the palms of your hands that's it three two one plank walks one and one side to side here we go i'm not sure if i said two and two last round i meant to say one and one so one back again for one that's it just going side to side right arms are our shoulders are stacked over our wrists hands are flat on the ground no bums in the air right back is flat really engage your core three two awesome last time sprawls finishing with our plank walks here we go on the ground arms tucked in hands flat let's go 20 hard we get a rest 20 hard again let's go bam coming up on the balls of your feet just like our half burpees when we bring our knees forward on the outside of our body that's it keep going five more seconds that's it push through the palms of your hands here we go arms tucked in i want to finish that all right one more round on the ground plank walks side to side here we go all right come across for one back again that's it the nice movements being control of the pace being control of your body right nice and tight everywhere nice and tight that's it five more seconds here we go excellent all right great job nice upper body high intensity body weight and weight training i hope you enjoyed it make sure you subscribe see you again soon have a great day